What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Big shout outs. I made another video about it. I don't know exactly if I'm going to put it out. I got to review it. Um, real quick, I just want to say shout outs to all of you progressive, moving forward black men. You are all an inspiration to us out here. Even if I don't know you, even if I don't haven't watched your videos, if you're making moves, even if you don't put out videos and no attention, no social media, just you making moves, you are an inspiration to someone around you who is paying attention to you and don't even, you don't even know. To find, and, and unfortunately somebody got offended, and I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to touch on that video again. Um, somebody got offended that I called a certain group of men bums or losers. Look at, look at this guy right here. Can you see this guy with his pants down? You saw, he almost stumbled into the, listen, I don't know his story, I don't know his situation. I don't know where he's at or where he's at, where he's at in life or what he's doing with his life. But let's understand something. We are judged based upon how we dress. We are judged based upon how we look. When you walk around with your pants like that, people are looking at you and they are judging and putting you down before you even have something to say. When you're on the corner all day, all night, when you're smoking all morning, all evening, all night, drinking morning, evening, when you decide that you're going to put all of your attention and energy into lusting, DMing, chasing after women, you know what category to put yourself in. And so to see black men who are saying, you know what, I am willing to go monk mode for a, for a month, six months, a year, three years, five years. And let's understand as men, it takes us going monk mode. 99% 90% of the time, it takes us going monk mode to get to that higher level in life. If you can find a woman who is willing to be there for the months and years while you put your head down, then of course you're gonna start to spend time with your family, stuff like that. But it is gonna take, there is no balanced life, right? There is no balanced life. So. You, you're gonna have to put more energy into other places than you would more than you would more so put in other places right if if you want to get ahead in life you're not going to be able to put as much energy attention into going out or dating or TV or video games you're gonna have to direct that energy somewhere else something's got to be sacrificed right so if you find a person that's willing to help so uh, settle with you and go through those those tribulations so that as a couple or a marriage or whatever as a family you get to a better place then great. For most of us men, especially us younger men, especially if you haven't seen a leap of success yet, you haven't seen that initial success yet, you haven't seen or had many successes in your past, it is going to take some time in monk mode for you to get to the, to a better place. And for you men that are in monk mode or doing monk mode or have just come out of monk mode and then you, you uh, made more sales, you got the raises, you were able to buy a house or buy a car or pay off debt or buy into assets, whatever the case may be, you guys are inspiration, are an inspiration to us as men. Just like I hope to be an inspiration to you as men to see what I'm talking about, traveling, making stuff happen in the real estate business, or just talking commentary of what I see and how we can uplift one another, as well as seeing my struggles about how life sucks sometimes, you know? Um, even the angry black man video. It's not to be angry in the, in that moment. It's not to harp on negative energy or anything like that. It's, listen, I got no problem with saying that sometimes I'm an angry black man. And I, I feel justified in coming out that way because <laughs> where are our people? Where are our families, our children, our wives, our husbands? Whatever the case may be, where are our people at? It's upsetting, it's disgusting, you know? Um, but again, it's not to live in negativity. It's just to give my journey, my experience. And when I see passport bros, when I see men starting businesses, when I see black men who are, are older and they're not coming to black men saying, oh, you need to marry a black woman. Now, there's nothing wrong with marrying a black woman. There's something more wrong, in my opinion, marrying a woman who has 10, 20, 30 bodies before you come there. And everybody else got it for free, but you got to pay for it. There's a problem out here when a dinner date is $200, $250, I mean, dating today is basically prostitution. You're, you're buying people. Okay, so let's just get to the point. 
and you you got you got these men out here sitting here talking about oh you're tricking overseas nigga you're tricking right here and you're not getting anything for it at least you get what you want overseas you're not even getting what you want i mean how many videos do we have to see about women sitting here talking about they're getting free dinner dates don't have to buy groceries for a month because all they got to do is swipe right and get dates to buy them food which is like it's crazy to me it's crazy to me that men are still i, I mean if you got the money that blow but i mean most of y'all don't have the money so you're sitting here you're tricking you're tricking here tricking there uh to try to get dates and we know that the ultimate goal is yeah we want relationships but the ultimate goal is you want some you want some stuff you want some stuff and they're gonna give it to somebody it's just not gonna be you because the guy they're giving it to is not taking him out on dates <laughs> you know so we see the game all backwards here we see this unfortunately women don't understand it and who gives a f we see what it is as men and thank you for social media because we see okay we got to put in the work whether it's our body, our money, our mind, our business, our careers, we got to put in the work. We got to put in the work. It's going to take time. Establish ourselves, get stability. The sooner we do it, the more, the, 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 the sooner we get to where we need to be. You know, um, I got to do another video on women dating older men and how the stability or the options or the mindset of the older men outweigh the younger men. I get it 100% with women. I get it 100%. I've been there where I've been the older man, and then I've been there where I was dating a woman who had been with the older man. Didn't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, we know. It's just, <laughs> she with you for a bit, and then she probably be with somebody else, and then somebody else. It is, it is what it is. So who cares who they dated? What do we need to do as men? Right? What do we? Who do we need to become as men? And when I see men on YouTube doing the work, and then they're able to put it out on camera and say, black men, this could be you too. I don't care if it's Taiwan or Philippines or Colombia or Asia or South America. We know we have options. We know that we are not all drug dealers, thugs, Ray Rays, Pookies, even if some of us are reformed Ray Rays and Pookies because of our bad decisions. It happens. We see it as an option or a way to go forward. And so thank you. Thank you for every black man who gets up on camera. It shows his face, shows his life risk his reputation let me it is risky for me to make these videos because i'm not sitting here pandering to anybody god forbid a client that wants to sell a home they're going to do research god forbid they see the, you know oh he's this this is what he's about <laughs> which is why i changed up the photo and everything else on the channel because i'm like i don't want to be easily identified and and, and access through oh this is what mr Harris be talking about you know <laughs> so and and so it is what it is. I, 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 hopefully it doesn't come to that because I don't want to lose listings over. Oh well, I see you on YouTube, so I know you're here to sell my home. But I want to ask you, what is your thoughts on marriage? <laughs> what is your thoughts on dating today? What do you think about politics or religion? Like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I, I just want to sell your home, but um. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for the experience. Like, this is a this is such a, a a phenomenal time to be alive, because there's so much opportunity. At the same time, there's just so much distractions. There's so much hope if we have courage to aim for it, but it's so easily to get deterred because there's so much negativity at the same time. You know, it's such crazy, interesting times. Um, I'm really gonna take some time to think, and I'm gonna make some more videos this weekend because. I see it. I see. I see the possibilities of where I'm working, what I'm working towards, and how I can get there, and how I want to get there. And I can't wait to put this content out on video to share with you guys, so that you can be a part of what I'm looking to build, and the message I'm looking to put forth, and how I'm looking to help others upgrade and do better in their lives. You know. So, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. Like the video, and for those of you, whether it's through videos or YouTube or Instagram, you're moving forward, you're helping others, men or women, black or white, you're doing something positive. And I hope that the Most High continues to grant you success on your journey as you continue to uplift and provide uh, more options, more opportunity, more discovery for the people out here. God bless you, thank you for watching. 
and I wish you a beautiful, healthy, and relaxing Sabbath. Take care. Later.